And let us continue on with our adventure and leave our warlock friend behind as we check in with the last merchant. Hopefully we don't somehow make them run away. <laughs> so let's put on our Master Thieves armband. And see what we can steal. Well, I will go health potion. Only three charges. Surely there's something I can use all five charges on. Honk. There you go, five charges. Sure. And let's buy these health potions. Well, maybe we should get the magic mapping first. What are we doing on health potions? Seven, pretty good. Yeah, I do like the four, at least three magic mappings. Um, four is just a little juicier. So 750, we have enough. Here, of course, we won't have anything really left for torches, but oh well. Who needs torches when you can see the whole floor? Hey, move. Get out of there. <laughs> Alrighty, sell some of this extra stuff. And since I won't be coming back to any more merchants, well, you do come, you, you do get a chance to buy on the way back on the Ascension, but I don't think I'll be buying any of this stuff, um, let alone coming back through the Demon Halls to like buy it. So I will sell this too. And that gives us enough to buy one more thing. And that thing should be, that could be useful. Not so useful. Remove curse. Well, we should get the remove curse. We could make the anti magic shield. That could be good. Sure, we'll do that. Alrighty, let us be on our way. Let us bless our second unk. Why not? Moving on. So, since we only get these little flavor text uh, as pop ups the first time on our first playthrough, let's continue to read them. These deep halls of the Dwarven Metropolis have been twisted by dark magic. In the past, these regions played host to the Dwarf King's court of elite warlocks, but now they seem to have been taken over by something even more sinister. All sorts of horrific, demonic creatures inhabit these halls, being led by some terrible dark power. I'm rubbing my hands together if you can't tell, like an evil villain. If the King of Dwarves wasn't the source of the spreading corruption, whatever is down here must be. Tread carefully. Very few adventurers have ever descended this far. Well, that is actually not the case. Lots of people playing this game. Lots of people making it this far. Shout out to the newest rat puncher who left a comment saying they completed. Congrats, Gene. I'm glad the rogue playthrough helped you out. These halls were no match for you. So we are looking for, here it is, the spawner. And just making a little plan. I guess we'll go south. I guess we could refill our dew vial here. That must be the original, the where they called it a dew vial. It's called the water skin now. I don't know what, I always say that. It's one of those things, just how I learned it. So we see that little red, and there we go, we have a little text here. We do have a Demon Ripper coming at us. But since the red was here, not right where we're standing, I'm pretty sure it won't hit us with his bleed attack. Yeah, that's good. So it's shooting. We get one free attack, and then we have to run away. And unfortunately, we weren't able to break line of sight, so it still hit us. So my fault. Should have ran away sooner. What did we get? Scroll. So with that in mind, perhaps we will just go ahead and in advance. I was going to say, we could just eat some food and start to heal up. What did you do? I'll just eat some food. I was going to say, maybe I'll eat, drink my aquatic rejuvenation potion. Let's get a hit in before it charms us. See how much damage this does. Not quite enough. Alrighty. I think I'll save the, um, oh, it's not even, oh, really? I was hoping you're healing. Mm, bummer. Oh, well. Overkill on the, uh, <laughs> magic mapping scroll is what it is. 
Doth we have un haste potion? I don't think we do. So like to check, make sure we have it identified. Yeah, we do, and we don't have one. Oh, we will find one. I think I'll save the torches until the later halls that have the scorpions that also want to shoot us from range. Those are very annoying. Oops, moved too fast there. I missed an attack opportunity for free. Let's get in here. Let's step up one and then light it on fire. Get some nice damage over time going. Eight hit combo. Rush. And let's keep attacking it. There we go. Before it can spawn more of its little friends here. My healing potion's on fire. Well, I never use ranged weapons because I always forget. So let's use them. I think you can use them when um, you're charmed. But I know you can use wands. So let's go ahead and do that. I hit combo. Six hit. The, the four is probably good enough. Yeah. Yep, sure is. And we get our shield back. Do enjoy that talent. Did we put on the crown? We did not. <laughs> let's put on the crown. I do find the heroic leap one of the more useful ones. Just for um, closing the gap on ranged characters, getting away from evil eyes and stuff. So I think I'll just go ahead and go with a heroic leap this time around. We have three talents to put into it. So when I land, enemies take damage plus 100% of my blocking power. Is that my op blocking power as in 45 damage? I actually don't know. I do like the stun and vulnerable. Oh, so it's just vulnerable. Where's the stun? I, but I don't like the knockback because I'm usually doing it because I want to get next to him. I'm not trying to knock him back. If you can do doing it twice in a row is good. It's cheaper the second time. It's kind of nice. You just jump it all over. So you could consider like reduce, reducing the cost plus the second one and just jump around a bunch. I think that's what it'll do. We'll just be double jumping. Maybe not the best, but I'm down to hear why. If you know why. The other ones are so much better. A lot of playstyle choices, I think. That's the haste potion. Some nice lore from the tablet there. My keyboard is really clicky, so if I use space to pick up all the items, you'll hear like clack, 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 clack. Let's see. Okay, you're sleeping. Mm-hmm. Seeing how well can we keep it asleep. We're gonna have to go around eventually. Let's go ahead and get out of range so it can't see us and maybe just like make a bunch of sentries. Oh, now it's awake, but is it shooting me or the sentries? I'm pretty sure it's shooting the sentry. Yeah. I like how the sentry acts as like a ally. Alrighty. So as we found out last turn, this isn't far enough away to get out of the range of sight. But if I move now, I can get out. Yep, there we go. Ooh, you're burning. Oh. Huh? Someone's there? Heroic leap. <laughs> there you are. Um, I need to be aware though when it shoots, I'm gonna have to break a line of sight. So I kind of want to pull it back to this corner so I can go like one, two, or maybe one, two right there. Yeah, so we can get around and out. There we go. So I do have the onks. I'll go ahead and eat a little healing because that damage caught me by surprise for sure. Hmm. Pretty sure the evil, the laser beam doesn't count as an attack that I could parry. Should we find out? I don't really want to find out. How do we get away though? I don't think we get away either. We could jump away. One, two. Hey, we got away. I think we just go with the four guaranteed connection there. 
And since we did pick up the haste potion, right? Yeah, we're heading down. We'll just continue heading down and get this treasure. Andale, Speedy Gonzales. Well then, check out this room. Oh, corrupted. So here we are. We have a wand or a ring. Definitely could use a ring. This one's not doing much at all. Increases our damage by one. But it's probably cursed. We can handle that if it is cursed. So I'll go for a ring here. Let's try it on. It's not cursed. All right. Don't know what it is. We could check our stats and see like if we got bonus strength, then we know it's might. Um, if our ranged weapons are doing more damage, we'll know it's sharp shooting. Things like that. Okay, zoom out quick. Still double check. Alrighty, we're done. Moving on. Magic mapping, of course. Here is our spawner. So I guess we'll go down, explore, hit that, come around, back. Something like that, okay. We could use a torch. These long hallways tend to be fraught with traps and monsters lying in wait. Oh, got a sneeze coming on. Sneeze averted. A quick pause hotkey on OBS. All right, let's go. Smacking just probably does more damage than burning it. Oops. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Was that level up? Sure was. Five hit. Yeah, so we have a glaive in case these guys were confused. So I have time. One, two, three. I don't know if this is going to reach. Hey, it reached. And now, yes, the door helps us out there. I'm going to wait, let it come to me. Get the range attack in. Oh, you really? You're doing that? Okay, well, we can get out of sight. Step down. Wait, let it come closer. Here we go. I don't really take advantage of the uh, the range on the glaive as much as I could. So let's jump fire. Why not? So who is in here trying to give us a hard time? You are. <laughs> the unstable enchantment is so funny. Just random plants. Okay, nothing in this room. Don't like you one bit. Burn. Oh, so it didn't reach, huh? One, two, three, four, five. I guess diagonal didn't reach. Well, this should be a safe spot. I'll just wait here. Here we go. Hop out. Throw some tridents. And even though it's very low health, I do just like to use that for the 100% accuracy. Okay. Gold. You're a mimic. One, two, three, four. Probably hit it from here. Let's set up our sentries first. So yeah, three shots normally, but if you... Oops, let's examine them. 
do 12 damage and it zaps five times so we get five zaps by stacking it like that <laughs> unless it gets taken out right away of course so it's a two hit i'm going to go ahead and kite back a little bit because we have the zaps and it's burning so it takes some extra damage let's go ahead and light them on fire again especially because i'm charmed kite back Use our range. Great. And our speed. You, unfortunately, are guarding that, so I guess I do have to fight you. Pretty sure I'll, I'll be lit on fire because I'm next to grass. So let's just go ahead and take a little smack, Garuni, and then run away. Step back in. Macaroonies. Here we go. Um, yeah, getting around the corner is going to be critical for dodging that laser. We're at six hits. Fantastic. Oops. Regular chest. Mimic. Nope, it's a mimic. Nice. Right next to a trap, though. That's helpful. Let's use throw this ring of not gonna wear. Go ahead and use some of our ranged weapons. I think the thing I love about the ranged weapons is they stack our, our combo. That's so cool. So we get up to six before it even gets on us. We can use the six. It doesn't reset the combo, so we stay here. Yeah, we keep building. Does that mean I could use the four? It does. That's cool. Oops. Yeah, there's a little more gladiator than I was aware of. So what did it did? It, it dropped a ring of fours. I threw a ring of fours at it, and then it it, it had another one inside. Fantastic. You must have known we didn't want that. Okay, on the warhammer. Come on then. Just one one hit one time. Nope. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it for me, could you? Not already. Level up. There we go. Let's see here. Have a little zoom out. See what's in these corners. Nothing? Looks like we are done with this floor. Okay. Have we gotten a strength potion? Yeah, okay, we did. What about upgrade scrolls? We got one upgrade scroll. Okay. I don't love unstable enchantment, but that glyph is a little more rare. Like, I only have the one. I'm pretty sure you get two per run. I just don't know where it is. So I missed it wherever it was. Four hit combo. Does not give it a chance to shoot us. And we'll just go down. We don't need to mess with you. Magic mapping. There's our alchemy. Fantastic. Levitation room. Levitation trap room. We have disarming stones. So we'll probably use those. Okay, let's go. Let's use a torch. So when we get shot from out of range, we'll at least have a small idea of what the range was. So I think I may go ahead and jump on it. Hmm. No. I probably actually leap to the door. Then I go through. So the issue is breaking line of sight when that Evil Eye's trying to shoot me, so like right here won't work if it's in the door. So if I fight it up one, I'll be okay. Now it's just gonna zap the door away from me though. Pretty sure we'll, we're safe here. So let's go ahead and maybe stack this up. Uh, 
Um, we may just have to hope for hope that we kill it. No, we missed. Didn't take that much damage though. Oh, and I saw that trap there, but I stepped on it anyways. <laughs> Oops. So it's just it's bringing this guy at me. Ooh, it has a it has a great X. That is good for you, Guardian. Okay. Let's go ahead and heroically leap next to you. Cool thing about ranged weapons like the glaive is often you can um get right next to them and they won't always run away. So burn it with fire. I'm crippled, unfortunately. So I don't like taking steps takes double movement, so I'm not gonna do that. Um I may just go ahead and leap over here. Still in range. Let's go ahead and use our slam. There we go. Crippled. Since I'm crippled, I would rather just fight rather than run away and have it catch up to me anyways. Even though it has a great axe. Well. Combo clobber. Knock, you, knock it away. And it just comes right back. Okay. Well, at least that builds up our combo. Gets us closer to the slam. And then gonna get hit. Hey, we didn't get hit. Nice. Collect our glorious loot. Oh, more. They're still coming. Okay, I'm gonna want to eat. Let's use our horn. 20 times in one game. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if that's gonna hit the tridents. They do zero damage. Hammers. Oh, you know what? It was in range for the for me to hit it. My bad. So maybe we go up to six and we go for parry. Does this one have a cool weapon? This one also has a great axe. Ah, oh, they all have great axes. <laughs> I think we go for number four. Yeah, just finish it off. It's still coming. How many does this summon? A lot. Apparently it summons a lot. Light it on fire. Range attacks. Oh. You have range too, huh? This one has a glaive. Well then. I guess we have an even footing here. Okay, they're done, right? That was the last one. Right? These are, are these disintegration? What are these? Grim traps. Yeah. It's a, enough to instantly kill all but the healthiest of heroes. Don't like to see that one bit. So five levitation potions. Good enough. Treasure chest of nothing we want or need. Fantastic. That's how exploring at the end game kind of feels like once we're all kitted out with all the best gear. So at least we can still use wands when we're charmed. Gives us something to do. You... No. Oh no. You know, we could do a little science. Hey, look, it, it didn't see me. Nice. It may see me now and I just might get zapped from the abyss here. Oh no, it went in that door. Nice. Good, get out of here. Step on in. <laughs> the unstable enchantment has actually not been that bad. Okay, so fighting this guy here in the door is going to be a problem. I think I'll head here, because I think this three away from the door actually blocks line of sight. So if I get here, yeah, I'll miss. Fortunately, now we are locked into a deathmatch. But we have 
the power of the combo. You. Okay, shall we get out of this doomed hall? Corrupting an evil eye is pretty nice, huh? Yes. Fantastic. Tried to run away. We got it. Charmed me. That's why I like that talent that increases your shield every time you finish with a combo. Because I do that a lot. So I always get the bonus, like 12 shield or whatever. Fantastic. Bring our tridents back to us. Step away from the square. No. Play nice. Good. I think I got out of line of sight. I did. Nope. Play nice. Ooh. Right over the shoulder. So fortunately our combo is high enough. That I could probably take out the next one. So just wait. Oh, you're going to jump. Fine. Jump. Just rocking, running around rocking and 10 combo. But I only have 30 more turns to use it. I don't have the keys for that. So let's move on up. Yeah, I'm going to lose this combo, aren't I? I am not going to lose the combo. I just have to jump on you. Combo Fury! <laughs> oh, so we need to break line of sight. I think the grass will do it for us. The grass didn't do it. Never mind. This um, attack speed ring, though, is doing us really good. Enjoying that. Oh, you. You really shouldn't have. It's too generous. Pretty sure four combo will be enough. Yep. Okay, so we will... Prepare for the end then. Um, let's do the potion of might with this last strength. So we're going to need a catalyst. What should make our catalyst? Usually I use the frost plus random things on in here. Here we go. So we go our potion of strength plus our catalyst gives us our elixir of might. So plus one strength, but also plus a bonus healing. Let's get two of these. And we need to make more catalysts. We need more energy. So do the montage. Ooh, that could have been... These could all be useful. I should use these. Like when the, I'm about to get blasted by the evil eye, I should actually just do something. Oh, well. All right. Now we need two more Aketalus. So we'll get some more of these frosty potions. One. Two. And Elixir of Dragon's Blood. So now we will emit fire. And be immune to it while we do it. Fantastic. So we could go... This one, I believe... Plus a Catalyst. Right, so let's make the Catalyst first. Invisibility Potion, perhaps we don't need so much of. Go with um, fire, I suppose. So we just try... That I believe toxic gas plus catalyst gives us toxic essence, same as the dragon blood, but the uh, toxic version of it. So, one more catalyst, one more of a you. There we go. Unfortunately, we don't have remove curse, we just have the one, so I will use the one and just have to deal with that. 
Um, gonna need a little more energy here. The blink, blink is good. I do have my heroic leap now, though. Okay, get one from you. And I was thinking that it would be fun to turn these into a uh, metamorphosis. So let's do one for now and have a look at our skills real quick because we definitely we don't need this anymore. We're not really equipping armor and weapons. So let's go ahead and see if we can change that into something useful from another class. This is always fun. Scroll of metamorphosis. So this one, we can get the same thing, but for mages. Gain shielding when I'm invisible, not invisible. Oh man. Dang. Can I cancel it? It will be consumed anyways. Dang it. Well, I'll get this. Who, who knows? Maybe I will be invisible sometime. What else? We won't be transferring the seal anymore, so we could consider uh, swapping that one for something else. So let's give that a shot. We'll need more energy, though. Go with um, a U. Some energy. So here you go. Let's see what we do with this one. Let's go for this. And we can get wand preservation. No. Oh, wow. This one's really good. I'm definitely. I'm probably getting that hands down over some food. Oh, yeah. So now we just walk. This is like one of the strongest rogue talents. Fantastic. Well, now I'm a rogue. I loved it. Love it. And anything else we want to change? Oh, this is a ring of evasion. It's okay. We could like try to transpose this into something else. Um, or one of these rings, maybe. Or I could just hold on to it and do nothing. It's always a valid option. Um, we could try this one more time. We might get something else. I think we'll just move along. So as far as this, these last upgrade scrolls go, since I can't re-enchant the glaive, I won't do it on that because I'll just lose it. And let's drink this Wadic Rejuve. Get some slower healing going. And then as far as potions go, I'm pretty sure we have... Um, I'm pretty sure this one's going to be experience, so I'll just hold on to that for a moment. And this one's going to be the paralyzing one, most likely. Okie dokie. We could probably make more stuff, but we can also just move on. Oh, really? You gonna do that? Where are you? Where are you? I'm gonna find you. There you are. <laughs> I'm gonna... Am I gonna burn you? Yeah, I'm gonna burn you. So here it's not retreating, which is pretty cool. Nice thing about the uh, glaives and the spears and stuff. Oops. So where is this key? I'm missing a key. Oh, you are a mimic. Sly dog. So if I cast him back here, I can light it on fire and then retreat. Okay, that will not burn. Good to know. Hey, light you on fire. And then as I retreat, I'll get the shots from there. What do you have for us? A flail? Hey, remove curse scroll. Fantastic. Scroll of upgrade. Yep. I'm thinking maybe the haste ring could be good. More attacks. So I'm just going to go ahead and step around. Hey, since I lost sight, does that mean it's going to miss? Let's find out. Sure did. I'll step back in because I want to be able to keep this corner for a breaking line of sight. There's the key. Oh, really? You know what? I don't want whatever curse stuff you're offering. Well, maybe I will. <laughs> Can't help myself. What is it? Plate armor of uselessness. Later. And we are on the final floor. Okay, let's keep it a moving. 
toxic gas room. There we go, demon spawner. Hey, another alchemy station. It's nice. So. Okay, I was gonna see if we had mind vision, we could play around with like the retribution scrolls. One of these, a garden, love a garden. And the stairs are up there, so how do we want to do this? I guess curve around. Maybe we uh, curve around here, go there. I don't know. Thinking too hard about that kind of stuff. Hmm. And I think I can just tank the damage, right? That's a little bit of damage. Don't love it. Not bad, though. And I like that I'm zapping the fish. Also, I kind of want to do the the fish achievement. I'm just like so non-concerned about these guys anymore. They used to be like really annoying, but when you have strong enough armor and the gazillion healing potions, I guess you just don't care anymore. Let my boomerangs come back. And have a nice combo charged up to hit the fish because or else it's going to miss. Oops rings so yeah we could just stand in here and heal up a bit not a mimic hey cube nice good damage do we ever see what's in there smack I swear that that was grayed out okay well since I'm here I suppose I will just go ahead and cut up yeah nice it's not gonna run away because I was never right next to it cool. eleven hit combo don't think so not really So one more scroll of upgrade and then we are out and I'll probably skip the rest of this. Um, but we can go to the garden. Looks like we have, mm, I don't see any, the Duke of the healing sun grass, but we can play the door jam. Let's let it dance back and forth. You done? I think it's done. I have one more hit though. Yeah. See. As a parting gift, it crippled us. Make us move twice as slow. Love that. So see if we can sneak by the, the evil eye there. Operation. Evil eye stays asleep. Oh, right, right. I have the rogue talent. Nice. I don't even have to think about that. Totally forgot. Hey, there we go. It's a little sun grass. We could like sit back here and plant it and hopefully no one comes and fights us. Plant. Click on it. Take a little nap. Nice. So I'll hit this one last because it gives us the buff. Of course, I don't think we'll get a chance to use it. This is full too. Okay. So going for that uh, transformation, the metamorphosis scroll earlier on would have been uh, pretty nice because this is like a, re a very strong skill to have picked up. Um, let's go ahead and light another torch, especially in these big rooms. So you're right on my upgrade scroll. I guess I don't have a, ch a choice but to wake him up. So we'll go ahead and do it. Shooting me. I'm on fire. Could be bad. Let's go for the finishing tent. Oh, hey, we dodged. All right, we are invincible. <laughs> okay. I'm just totally ignoring all the damage. It's very um, irresponsible of me. Walking around when I'm crippled and on fire and being shot by a scorpion. I know, I know. 
So that is the last upgrade scroll. I do, I would like to go in there though. Let's eat some food. Let's eat some char grilled meat. Let's eat two of them. Why are we still taking, oh, we're taking all that deferred damage. That's right. So you will just stay asleep. I can even pick this up. Hmm. Hmm. We leap over it. We can then run and not hide there. Shucks. Should have leaped further. I need to get like over here. Or even better, like into this room. Yeah. Here we go. Now you can't see us. We're hurting though. Should I eat something? Drink something? Why not? Nice. Okay, what did I want to do in here? I was going to make... found a curse scroll, so let's make one more of those anti-magics. And, okay. We don't have to spend forever in here. Should we transmute a ring? Yeah, let's just upgrade this to a attack super duper fast. I mean, we could go with the armor because we have the glyphs to reinscribe it. Um, I mean, vis viscosity is not one of like the rare ones by any chance. But now nah, we'll just go like this. We go from what was it twenty to thirty to almost seventy percent. Pretty good. So, yeah, moving on. Okay, here we go. One of the easier bosses. Just have to remember to zoom in so we see the squares. And we can actually dodge the stuff. I like to stay on top of killing those. Don't need to let them build up. So, yeah, we remember to actually dodge. We'll do good. Shall I combo? Why not? <laughs> okay, too much. So we got the fire guy, fire fist. So that's why we want our dragon's blood elixir because now we are immune to fire. So let's go ahead and just step out of the pedestal so it'll come to us. Come to us. Why did it go back there? No. I have so much attack speed. Attack speed's very good on the um, Gladiator, isn't it? You just like stack up your combo super fast. So this resets when you, so I don't, let's stack up to 10. Are you, are you dead? Wow, that was a fast one. We're pretty strong. Um, sir, we'll 10 combo you again. <laughs> Get to the next fist. What do you guys want? No one asked you. So here we have Rotting Fist. This is the um, elixir of toxic essence. Similar as the purity, but I don't think it lasts nearly as long. Plus we can uh, emit this toxic essence ourselves, which will pretty sure it takes care of the uh, those guys. So you are still immune, unfortunately. You have to get off that pillar. Here we go. Yeah, this one takes bleed damage. It's almost like deferred. Oh yeah, the caustic ooze. Does that damage me? It does damage me. Okay, I need to be in water. I think it's kind of like goo too, where it'll heal if it's in the water. So all this stuff going on, I just have to make sure not to get zapped. So I could use the six combo. Get a parry in there. And it doesn't reset, which I love. So it stacks up. We do the eight. Eight might finish it off. Does it reset? It does. These all reset. Okay, so. We could just go up to 10. Guarantee the kill. Where'd you go? Are you running away? There you are. Okay, the bleed killed it. Step out of the laser. Alrighty, last little section here. Do 
this in vision there's all these plants so here we have the uh the light fish fish <laughs> this this is the range one that's gonna blast us and blind us so we will go anti-magic as we run away and break line of sight so we can get it to come over to us and with anti-magic on we can go ahead and tank yogs lasers they won't hurt us at all oh come on we're right here can't see you though you must get closer there we go pretty sure it doesn't do very much damage either so this is our anti-magic it doesn't last very long so I, I want to save it because it's going to teleport away so I'll save the next one yeah fortunately we can't read while it's while we're blinded um, we could go hide in the water get a little regain it's just we're gonna get zapped okay put another one on the tricky part is always when it's far away and it's shooting you and you don't know where it is we just need the anti-magic buff to help us close that gap there okay took it out good to go and now we could throw the stone of aggression at yog or we could heroically leap right next to it wham and get in with the 10 hit combo little style points as we tank the final laser all right we did it let's get our amulet and let's get out of here and go hang out with our best buddy the rat who we know is waiting for us on the surface come on walk 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 oh the keyboard's pretty good if you hold it down it's pretty fast i'm not done yet of course not Let's get out of here. Continue. Okay, let's go down to this door. Who's attacking me? I'm in range because of the diagonal, nice. So they are buffed up, one thing to keep in mind. They're a little tougher. So I should take that in consideration and be a little more careful than I normally would be. But that's only one, and we're already green, so we're good to go on to the next floor. Which is right here. You're charming me. How dare you. He broke the charm. Not a good place to fight. Yeah, I was definitely waiting for the range attacks to come in. Let's just, I think four is finishes here. Must target it and alley and are you, you. Yep. And we are green, so let's run away. So you've seen one ascension, you've probably seen them all. I like to do it, uh, cause it's kind of the right, cake on the top of the run. I'm gonna eat food cause we have plenty. Might as well just keep my hit points high. So here we are, we haven't been able to fight anything yet. So I'm gonna wait for them to appear see who comes from where is it, it is calling you know what I should make my sentries while I wait huh yeah get some defenses prepped there we go just in time to be lit on fire from both of you there we go that's all it took So I'm clicking, I'm not clicking on the stairs because I don't want to accidentally make it to the stairs without fighting anything and then have my amulet get charged up. Let's get some light going. And I guess we just wait to see who comes. I'll cheat to this side and then I'll leap. Oh, I saw that door open down there. So someone, uh, <laughs> okay. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Zone of fear. Yeah, we're not. Run away. Yeah. Now let's fight whoever's down here. You know what skill I never used really was this one. I just realized that it's on cooldown from throwing that. So we have a four hit finisher. Okay, it's still green. I think that 
evil eye is going to come back, right? The fear wears off, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, but now we're in a better spot to dodge the laser. Oh, double dodge. Don't love it. Um, not one bit. Sure, throw another one. Does it count? Or since it's charging up, is it still going to shoot me? Already, but regardless, the curse is weakened, so we can run away. And full heal from the imp. You still want to sell this stuff, huh? Well, you still want to buy stuff? Sure. Look at all this money. I'm not going to buy nothing from you, imp. <laughs> I guess we do need to fight, so here we go. Very cool. Some useful rocks from the unstable enchantment. Corrupted. Fantastic. I don't think we've been lit on fire yet. I gotta say. I'll just let the monk fight it and we'll get out of here. Oh, really? Don't focus fire me. Same with you. We'll just uh, take an extra hit here and get out. Surely someone's going to come fight me. Put it in a spot where it can shoot both doors. No, don't dismiss. Buff. And we wait. Saw that door move. Here we go. It's a warlock. Let's leap into action. Two, three more. We will burn down the whole library because of you guys. And I will get out of melee range. I mean, uh, get out of range range, get back into melee. So they can shoot diagonal there, so I'll step back. Here we go. Amulet is green, but I still don't want to get shot while I'm running away. Fantastic, delicious. Let's go. You... I'm on water, so I'm not too worried about it. Eight hit combo. And it went green already. Nice. So... Let's do the... Oh yeah, let's do the blind. The thing I never remember to do. There, you're blinded. And I don't think it lasts, it only lasts for a couple of turns, so I'm just going to leap into the stairs and jump away. <laughs> it, that's why I like the leap. It's pretty reliable. Alrighty, here we are. Let's see who's coming to get us. This is probably a good place to put it. You're coming to get us. We got you first. And hit combo with 42 turns remaining. Unfortunately, um, these guys will come back to life. So it's kind of like good just to use it on the last one. But the, you know what? Well, I only have four turns left, so let's just use it. Yeah, you're all coming back to life. This isn't good. Four. You need to die. There we go. <laughs> the tridents are very satisfying. They're kind of like, they're like Sparta. Um, don't like you. See, yeah. I was curious, like, you know how it targets the enemy? I don't think that's as good as targeting just the space next to it. Lucky that fire didn't spread to us. Hey, full heal. That's right. Moving on, still have spider webs in our face, and I stepped right into it. That was pure professional gameplay. You, no one likes you. That was it. Nice. Some floors you only need to take out one. I do enjoy. Let's go. 
we will do a little range action on you. So we're already at a four hit combo. Nice. Let's knock it away. <laughs> we can't knock it away again though. It's already that's already cooled down. I mean it's on cooldown. And now we're just missing. Come on. Alright, let's parry. You had to realize how much the gladiator can like use these in succession as you're building them up. So you can just kind of use your defensive ones and then you can build up to your big offensive one. Unfortunately, um, not much more to do here because it's going to yeah, go berserk and we just have to run away. But I do like that we're... Oh, our combo reset, huh? Dang, I was going to say is we're built up to eight. Now we're just at two. You need to burn. <laughs> um, let's hide from the uh, range attack. One more. Okay, let's pick up all our projectiles and be on our merry way. The bat. Um, one, two is gonna hit. Not gonna hit me yet. So we can just wait, I guess. Try to kill it before it heals. For life steals. Moseying on our way. So if I see some fish, I should stop and try to get them. I want to get that six piranha achievement. You. Let's break line of sight. Let's wait. Get in melee. Nice. Green. Let's... Blind you. Oh yeah, I didn't even pick up that last arcane stylus. How long is it blinded for? I'm curious. How far can we leap? Can I leap to here? <laughs> I had no idea you could jump that far. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm, I'm assuming it has to be like a, a straight line of sight. So let's knock you back. I'm in. Diagonal. Can I leap? Diagonally. To here. So I thought that was my favorite skill. Now I 100% know that's my favorite skill. I always thought it was like, you know, like a limited, like three to five square kind of range, like a dash. So that wouldn't be very heroic, would it? Let's just get some range going. I should load up that force cube over here because it does a lot of damage. Here it is. But it will, it won't hit me yet. Knock back. Nice. Force the cube. You. No. I don't think I have enough charge. Yeah, I don't have enough. Dang. My Bane. So I guess I have to get out of line of sight here before I get shot. Okay. And then unfortunately, yeah, it's gonna go berserk. I have to run away from it before I can get next to this one. I wasted my leaps. And now I'm paying for it. Ooh, brutal. You know what? I don't have to take this. I don't have to stand for this abuse. I'm just go invisible. Can you just use all the tools at our disposal? Okay, green. When I say green, I'm always referring to the amulet's curse. You see it, that it has worn off. Let's use a haste potion. We don't have to mess with these bats. Give us along. Yeah. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Prison time. We'll go and hide around the corner. I could have blinded it, I suppose. 
<laughs> okay, there's the unstable enchantment messing with us. It used the knockback one and knocked the range guy out of our range. I'm curious if this blocks. It does. It blocks the projectile, so it can't hit me there. Nice. You know what? I don't even care about that trident. You can have it. It's one of my new little styles is leaving a bunch of ranged weapons on the floor as I go back. Okay, we can fight you. Yeah, let's keep... Let's try this. Keep knocking them back. Oh, okay. Let's go with the parry. So the parry does return an attack? Okay. Let's go with the crush. So we do a little damage there as well. I'm trying to steal my food. You know what? You can have it. I don't even want it. I'll just, I'll give the thief. Ugh. So this will block it, right? Yeah, they can't shoot us. Uh, ouch. Okay, we'll heal. 14 potions, right? We'll use one. That hurts pretty bad. I think that thief is going to come back for us. Heading on up. Yeah, so there's no achievement for having excess healing potions left. So might as well use them. You're stealing my rations again. What a little slippery. Can't even hit it. <laughs> it's not so much that I want the ration. I want to clear the amulet's curse. That's all. Yeah, see, it's still yellow. I need to actually take out the thief. Six combo, seven. Probably good enough for a slam. Yep. Oh, well, don't have a choice here. Okay, thank you. Unstable enchantment. We appreciate that so much. Oh. Do I get a surprise round in there? No. Ooh. Brutal. And next time I'm just going invisible and say, screw you guys. Here's the stairs right here. So what to do? I guess we just wait around. Make some sentries. All right, someone comes by us. There they are. I see him. Curse has been weakened. Good enough for me. Okay, healing up. Got all this loot. Forgot to come back and sell it, I guess. Oops. Sewer time. say if this wasn't a crab and I could like easily run away I probably would just would the deferred damage is too much let's keep going 
I don't think even think that reaches. Oh yeah, I said stepped into it. Good. I'm not picking that stuff up. You can have it. Grab. Play with that horse cube and that throwing hammer. It's my gift. So you get a little ward action going. Little sentries. Get some zaps. Okay, step on up. Light you on fire. It fizzles. What do you mean? It's got charges. There you go. Curse weekends. And the final floor. I didn't see any piranhas or I just skipped over them in my mind. So I wasn't paying attention. So we won't get that achievement. I'll go back for the achievement hunting later on. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoy this warrior run. We are rocking out our beard and their gear and heroically leaping across the whole map. Can we go up there? <laughs> now we hit the wall. Okay. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. I look forward to the duelist run coming out next. Cheers.